invasive species. Although having biodiversity in an ecosystem is important, sometimes new species are introduced into an environment that simply don't belong there. These are species that naturally occur outside of Texas or even outside of North America. When a species of foreign origin is introduced into a new habitat, that species is called an exotic or non-indigenous species. Sometimes these species don't live, they don't survive long because some of the resources they need to survive simply aren't in the new habitat in which they've been introduced. For example, there's not the food they prefer or there's not sufficient shelter to hide them from, from predation. But when non-indigenous species do have the resources they need to survive in the new habitat, they can become what's called invasive. And invasive species will typically reproduce quickly, consume resources faster than native species, and are not subject to control by native predators. Invasive exotic species can cause damage to non-native aquatic habitats and even drive some native species to extinction. Lionfish, native to the Indo-Pacific, are now thriving in the Gulf of Mexico and eating our native reef fish. Giant salvinia can now be found on Lake Caddo. Non-native invasive species threaten Texas's native aquatic ecosystems. A species is considered to be invasive if it outcompetes native species, and they may compete with native species for it could be the habitat or food or both. Now, this competition makes it harder for the native species to survive, and over time, invasive species may adversely change an entire native Texas aquatic community. As a result, native species can become endangered, and the invasive species can spread throughout the state. The tiny zebra mussel, which is shown here, has grown in massive numbers. In this particular instance, it can be seen covering a native species. They're very small. They're now infesting Lake Texoma, for example, in North Texas and other locations. Many zebra mussels are shown clinging here to the surface of an outboard motor. Here, they're shown clinging to the shell of a common Texas river mussel. Zebra mussels can attach to virtually any hard surface. They clog water intakes, cling to bowie hulls, they damage in engines, they infest boat docks, ramps, navigational buoys. Here you can see them along the shoreline of Lake uh, Texoma in massive numbers. Aquatic ecosystem managers are concerned that zebra mussels have spread to many of the other Texas waters because they can attach themselves to parts of boats or be present in water trapped in boats. When boats are moved from one water body to another, zebra mussels can be carried along and released into the new waters they can then wreak habitat, havoc in the new environments, negatively impacting fish, native mussel populations by outcompeting them for available plankton, space. The zebra mussel can even make beaches unusable because they completely cover the bottom along the shoreline. 